Yeah, when I was a kid and I needed a filling, which uh, I was always dreading, but when I did, it was always a metal filling. They never had a choice what type of filling you were going to use. Nowadays, people have a choice. Um, in our office, the most popular type of fillings are white fillings that are bonded into the teeth. Patients seem to prefer those the most. The metal filling has an advantage of being very hard, inexpensive, and durable, but the disadvantage is, is there's some question with the metal content. It has mercury, and a lot of patients are worried about that. As they age, they tend to expand, and that can cause the tooth to crack in the long run. And overall, the, just the way they look, patients just really don't like it. In our office, we don't tell people they have to replace the metal fillings, though. If they're happy with them and they have no concerns and the tooth's not cracking or having any problems, I would say it's okay to leave them but I also keep a close eye on to make sure the tooth's not cracking. So a lot of our patients, when, they're, when they've had a metal filling replaced with the white one, they remark at how natural it looks and how attractive it is. And it's the closest thing we have to a tooth right now. But if they're done right, they can hold up for years. I've had mine, I think, about 16 years now, and they're still going strong.